My name is Ali. Uh, I work on the machine learning operations team at DataAI. Uh, for the last two years and today, I've been working on the machine learning organization, exclusively focusing on software and uh, the platform for machine learning. So AR for good, I think you would expect to see a positive and you know lasting impact along with improving the situation for every stakeholder involved. So to give you a more concrete example, Dead AI impressions, uh, it helps radiologists by reducing their burnout, potentially reducing the errors due to repetition and fatigue, and in general improving you know, the working conditions for them. And our latest product, Dead AI Reporting, is a radiology reporting software. It's built with AI natively from ground up. It offers many AI functionalities, including Red AI impressions in it. If you look at all the all the stakeholders involved in this process, uh, I think we make you know life better for everyone, both patients at scale or or doctors uh, doing their day to day work. The main challenges, I guess, on one side, is moving on from research to a production stage, going through the growth you know, delivering many models with, with a frequent cadence that should meet, you know, very strict operational standards. Uh, doing this in a repetitive way, you know, you want to have many researchers building many different models and technologies and being able to release them. So that is usually the main challenge is, is just, how do you make everyone, how do you position them to be the most productive? What are the automations that you can build or what are the toolings you can build to ensure ensure researchers are delivering you know, the best that they can. More recently, we are using weights and biases to trigger our production deployments. And it's been instrumental for us in our machine learning operations processes. The pipeline we built, which, which has weights and biases model registered as its, its first step, allowed us to reduce the need for synchronization across researchers and software engineers on the machinery organization, you know, less meetings, less documents, and all of our production models, whether it's external or internal, uh, or whatever the purpose is, all of them are tracked through weights and biases model registry and all the deployments uh, are and, and, you know, should be triggered from weights and biases. You know, it's, it's, it's a core component in, in, in much of our machine learning operations when it comes to continuous integration and deployment. With the Gen AI, I believe there is a lot more to discover when it comes to healthcare. And all, pretty much all these products are still in early, their early stages. I am very much convinced in the mission uh, and, the, and the vision uh, that is out there for that AI. And, you know, it's always fulfilling and it, it makes you feel confident in what you're doing.